Hello everyone, welcome to 123 Simply Craft. I'm Mary Lou Stamping at Demonstrator in Australia. I post a video every Friday, so if you like my videos, please subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. For today's uh, tutorial or class, I will show you how to make this like explosion box. I made this about, oh, about a, maybe a year and a half ago or something like that. And uh, I never made a video, so I thought I'd replica this with um, the new uh, papers from the catalog. And I'm really enjoying this paper. It is called Sun Print from the new annual catalog. And I think it's so beautiful. I love blue. So I thought I'll make the box with these beautiful papers. I think they're very, very nice. Oh, you have to excuse my fingers. They're yellow. I'm cooking chicken. So this is just the saffron. So it takes a day, I think, to get the color off. So there you go. So that is that. Now I'll show you the box. This is what the box looks like, just like a normal box. But then when you open it, there's four little boxes inside. And I think they're super cute to put a gift. You can put uh, Ferrero Rocher, they'll fit nicely here, or a piece of jewelry or anything like that. And inside, I got happy birthday. But the one that we're gonna make today is with the new um, colors and new papers. So I'm gonna put this aside. And to begin, I'll show you what we need. This is the box. The box is gonna be seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. We need the lid for the box, which is four and seven eight by four and seven eight. Then we need the tiny little boxes. The box is four and a half by four and a half, and the lid is made with the designer paper, which is two and nine sixteen by two and nine sixteen. Now that sixteen is very important because we want the lid to be just a little bit bigger than the box. So that 16 really makes it. Then we need a little a small piece of um, designer paper, and this is for the lid, and that is three and one eight by three and one eight. Then we need four pieces, and that is for the size of the boxes, which is three and one eight by one and seven eight, four of those. Then we need four pieces, they are three and one eight by nine sixteenths, which is nine sixteenths like this. It's just one little line after the half. And that is for the lid here, we need four. Then this is for the inside to decorate the box. It's three and one eight by three and one eight. And then we need a piece that is one and a quarter by 12. And that is for decorate the box. I'm not gonna do this, I'm gonna change it and make it something different now don't worry about the measurements i will put a link down below the video which it will take you to my blog and all the measurements will be there for you with all the instructions so i'm um, just enjoying and, and watch it and i hope i do a good job for you all right so we start with the box so let me get this core board put that away all right now the box is seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And we're going to score a two inch all the way around. So two inches, we turn, two inches, we turn, two inches, we turn, and two inches. So that is super easy. Seven and a quarter. Oh, this one I've done it two and a half. Two inches, two inches. Two inches and two inches. Now this one here, I made a mistake, so that's good to happen because I can show you what to do. When something like this happens, just position that score line, the, the wrong score line, into one of the flat groove and with the bone folder, just go all the way down, just like that. And that erased that piece. Put it on the other way, find a flat surface. Voila, it's like it never happened. There we go. So that's that. Now, while we're scoring, we must score all the pieces. Now, we're going to score the lid. 
that's the one that is four and seven eight by four and seven eight and we're going to score all the way around at three quarters of an inch three quarters three quarters three quarters and three quarters okay so that's the lid and now we're going to score the box the tiny the boxes that go inside all right that box is four and a half by four and a half let's put that on the lid and this one here we're gonna score a one and a half all the way around so one and a half one and a half one and a half and one and a half okay and you do that four times because we have four boxes and now that is the lid of the box that goes inside i just leave this here so just in case you need to do a screenshot but you can go to the block and this one we're gonna score a half an inch all the way around so half an inch half an inch half and half and you do that four times because we have four boxes so let me get rid of all these and we start okay let's begin with the box so let's get the scissors and what we're going to do is we're going to cut on this core line and we remove this whole complete square the corners as you'll say making sure that they're nice and straight I'll take my time when I'm cutting this we're gonna make sure that it's nice and straight because this is your box This ones you can keep it for another project okay now before I um, burnish the score lines I'm going to stick my designer paper because it's easier to do a nail while it's flat so there's the four pieces that I showed you before there are three and one eight by one and seven eight so we're going to glue them in here also I must point out when you are touching this, if you're having a designer paper that is directional, make sure that you put it the right way, remembering that the box is going to go like this. So you make sure. But the, with this paper, there's no problem because there's no directional, so it doesn't matter. So we'll touch this. I love this paper. I think it's very cute. So I've been wanting to do this this box for a while. Oh, I forgot to tell you what color this cardstock is. This is gray granite. Gray granite cardstock. Okay. Now we're gonna burnish this. That's done. That's done. And that's done. So that's how simple that was. That's the bottom of the box. And while we got that there, we stick this is the inside of the bottom of the box. And I'm going to attach it just here. And with the glue. So that goes here. Just like that okay so this is ready so let's put this one aside uh, where am i gonna put it here okay now 
now we're going to do the lid this is the lid for the box let's get rid of that and the glue and now we're going to cut this to cut this one it's very easy we just cut it here and we do a little notch on both sides just like that and we turn and we turn like the pinwheel we do this because you want to make sure that this lid is the same thickness all the way around okay all right now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna attach we can attach this here now While it's flat, it's always easier to attach all the pieces. And let's do this as well. Let's attach these little pieces. Okay, I'm gonna attach this and then I'll show you so it's not so long. Okay, I have attached the designer paper on the sides and now I'm doing uh, the um, uh, tight. Now the tight, I put it on these little flaps and you position the tight where the score line is, there, and a little piece over here. So I leave these two, so I do it in front of you, just like this. Little bit in here and a little bit in here. And you go all the way around until you do the four little flaps, okay? So now we burnish the tight to make sure that it's well attached to a cardstock and that will make it easier for us to pull the type out okay so let's remove the type you can see how easy it is when you do that I remove them all because it's a tiny little box oh you know I forgot to burnish let's burn it this Otherwise, it's got to be nice and crisp, isn't it? We have to burnish the box, the score lines. Very low. Too much in a hurry. Okay, so now we attach. Let me fold this because I forgot to do that, didn't I? Okay, so now we're going to attach this to this edge. Making sure that it's nice into the score line, but not passing it or less. It's got to be right on the score line. Okay, you can see just on the score line. Can you see that? And then we attach it. And you go like this all the way around. Right in the score line. And the last one, see? right on the score line can you see there's no passing or anything just nice and straight and that is the lid and see it's all the same thickness all the way around so remember the box so now we can put this lid in the box you can see it fits perfect all right now at the moment of course it's a bit funny because there's nothing in it when we attach the boxes it will be very solid but for now, it looks a bit soft because it is, because there's nothing to support the size. But that's why we make the little boxes. So that looking cute already. All right, so now let's make the little box. Let me clean this a little bit. Because you know me, my OCD. Get confused, there's stuff everywhere. Okay, so now we get the little box, which is four and a half, four and a half. And again, we burnish this. Let's not forget that. Okay, so that's burnish. And before I forget, I'm going to burnish the lid as well. Because remember, we scored everything before. Then there's one more step. 
on the little boxes we did I did some stamping there's the little box already complete I got some stamping so I'll go and grab the stamp and then we do some stamping okay I grab the stamp set and that's the leaf that I use so what is it here I forgot to grab it so sorry about that guys get a blog and I'm using the starry sky And we're gonna do some stamping on this and I don't want any ink on here so that's the reason why I got this paper folded in half so what I'm gonna do is I positioned let's make this a bit stry Marilo okay that's nice and stry now okay so I'm gonna put the paper just on the score line so then when I do the stamping, it doesn't go in here. Then I turn it, again, position it on the score line. And we turn it. It's like masking, but the lazy way of masking. And one more just like that that's a little tip for you okay so that I'm happy with that okay so let's put the ink away get rid of this because it's very inky and now that looks okay okay so now let's cut it with the scissors And we cut here and we do a little bit of a notch so it fits nicely in the box and on both sides making sure that it gets right to the corner don't cut that corner off okay and we turn And we turn like this, and one more turn, okay. So that's done, and then we're gonna put type around. So I'll do the first one here, like we did before, just next to the score line and on the tip of it, okay? So I turn next to the score line and on the tip. So I will do that around and then I'll show you. Okay, all the type is on here, so we burnish type and then we remove the type again I wish my nails were bigger two more okay and again I forgot to burnish I forgot to burnish this again very silly again, Marilo. Goodness. How many bloopers in this video? Unbelievable, isn't it? Silly, silly, silly. Please don't do what I just did. Twice. Not once, but twice. <sighs> okay. Now, again, we attach... Making sure that it's right on it. And we go all the way around, making sure it's right on the score line. And then with the, this, we go all the way inside. Yeah, 
remember this is nice and solid because see it's like a double everywhere is double so it's very solid little box now for the lid okay we're gonna cut this again like we did just exactly like what we've been doing just cut him like this and we turn and we turn and cut this turn just remembering the pin wheel last one okay all the way around and then once more you get the type if I can find the edge and we again we just do a next to the score line and the tip now this one is pretty close because the type is quite thick so I'll go all the way around okay I have add the type on and I'm just removing this little bit okay I've done it all the way around it took all the type off you can see and now we're just gonna close the lid again making sure that is nice and even nice and even let's do this one first there we go like that you go inside close and this one more like this and we close them And go in the lid, in the box. Let's put it in the box. Oh, what's happening? Wait a second. Okay, so we got one, two, three, and four. So we got four boxes now, and we got this. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to attach these four little boxes in here. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I want to decorate a little bit of stamping along here as well. So I'm going to do some more stamping because I think it will look really cute having that inside. So let's get the ink again. Okay, and this time I'm going to have, uh, yes, I think we need to do the same thing. And we're going to do all of them on the right hand side. Oh, my dog. Sorry, my dog wanted to go outside. All right. So, we're going to stamp on here. And I think I'm going to stamp off to make it a little bit softer. Okay? So, we turned and we stamp on every right-hand side of this part. I just want to keep it soft. I think it'd be nice to keep it soft. All right, so that I'm happy with that. Now let's attach the boxes. Okay, we get, doesn't matter which box, and we're gonna attach it here. And what I'll do is I always do this. I put my boxes like this to make sure that they all fit nicely. And they do here. Yeah. Very good. Yes, all right, so they do fit. So now what we're going to do now is we're gonna attach this one just, let me show you, better put it up here. It's gonna be like, see where the score line is? See the score line? It's just gonna be just where the score line is 
and you gotta make sure that you don't glue it too close to that because remember the lid you have to allow it for the lid as you can see when you put this next to here when you put this lid next to here can you see how on this side you need to have like a little gap can you let me put it closer right this is where it's supposed to be next to the score line but this is longer than the box so you need to make allowance for that so when you glue it underneath here you gotta make sure that there's a little gap otherwise what you can do is you can go like this put the glue on the back let's put the glue maybe this is the easiest way trying to make it the simplest way for you all right so what we do is we put the box in here right inside the box so you know that this the the sides of the lid and the bottom is inside these two score lines so we put that in the corner sorry my head is going to be on the wall but i need to see okay and then you can close this then you close that and you hold it maybe that's the best way and you guys attach then you can lift this up and we can glue and we can glue that okay so that's one you know we do the same thing on this side we put that one in we put the glue on the base so really the first one is the one you gotta make it right the rest you just follow all right we close that we put this here making sure that it's nice and even can you see that and it's inside you can see it's inside the box and then you just close this and put it open like that the little making sure that it's fine yep perfect and glue it so that's two and the next one perfect we make sure that we put glue over here and maybe put a bit more here put the box here together with the other ones and we close the lid we open the lid and then you adjust it here make sure that it's nice and straight yep perfect I think we don't need to open I just go like that okay now this one the last one Put it in. Yep. Put the glue on. Close it. And you know that it's going to fit nicely. You know, the box super strong and it's not gonna go anywhere because the box is inside stopping them and when you go like this opens up you know if you like I'm not gonna put a message in here but you can like I did on here add a message inside but I'm not sure who I'm gonna give it to so it may be for a birthday or maybe for an anniversary so I'm just gonna leave it blank and when I'm ready to gift it I will put a nice little message over here so I'm just going to leave it like that, just like that. And now we're going to decorate the top. And I'm going to do something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this piece. Remember, it was uh, one and a quarter by 12 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, score at every quarter of an inch. So every quarter... I'm gonna score it 
every single quarter until you get to the end, okay? Then after you do that, then every score line, can you see all the little score line? Every quarter of an inch, it will be until you get to the end. And then you do the concertina fold until you do all of it. And just not to make you wet and do that, I done it before. Okay? So now I'm going to put it all together like this so I can glue these two pieces like this together. Okay? This goes on top of that one like that. So I'm going to put glue in here. It doesn't matter either one, but I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put glue here. In here and then this one goes on top of that one there and now you just go like this and you close it like push it into itself like that and now we're gonna punch a circle Doesn't matter what size it is. And I'm going to put glue all over it. Now you can use, um, I think it's called glue gun. You can use a glue gun for this. But I'm just using just plain glue. So we're gonna close this again. And make it nice and tight. And I put that on top. And what I do is I get a block and I'm going to put a block on top. Whoop. Something heavy like, oh, hold on a second. Whoop. Stay there. Be good. Stay there like this. And while that is doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm going to make a, the little topper. For that, I have used... The styling shape die, so I use one of the a small one to cut real one of those with a little stitching. Or if you have, I mean, if you, if you have this die, as long as it's a little circle, I like this one because it's got the stitch around it. And then I'm gonna use the new pretty pop up dies, and I'm gonna use this little uh, dragonfly. And the dragonfly, what it does. Let me take the dragonfly out. Is you put the dragonfly in here like this, and you put it on this um, emboss, uh, no embossing on the big shot. And when you take it out, it doesn't cut the whole thing. It just cuts out the little dragonfly. Isn't that super cute? And now what I did is behind this circle. Okay, so we punch it, it comes like that, and then I attach a little piece of the, uh, what's it called this one? Still learning the new colors, Tahitian tie underneath. So then when you, this, the little wings shows the color underneath, and I think it's super pretty. And then for the for you, it's from the Friends Are Like Seashells. And I use this one over here for you. And I stamped just there. And that's how I come up with this little topper. So now we are going to attach it in there. I, and now I may put another circle over here just to give it more strength. So the one that I cut before, let's put it in here. It's not wasted. There you go. Stay there. Let's put this away. I don't want to lose my dragon fly. All right. Well, that's drying. Let me show you what we're going to do next. Okay. So there's the lid. And then to decorate it a bit more, I'm also using the honeybee blooms. And I have cut out this one and this one. So those two. And I cut out some little leaves. And I think they look like super cute. They're very nice. Super cute. So I'm going to decorate with that. So 
Let's get the lid. While this is drying, let me move it a little bit. Move it a little bit. And I'm going to attach some of these over here because the reason why I chose this because there's a lot of nice fernery on the on the base, on the background. So I think that this will look like really nice in here. So I'm just see what this look like. And I think it's gonna look nice. So I put one in there. And I do the same on the other side. And maybe this one. A bit of glue. Come on, touch. Yeah. If you would like, if you know, um, don't like glue very much, we can use the glue dots. Let's do it with a glue dot just to show you. So you just get a glue dot and you can attach it with a glue dot. Like that. Okay. Oh, there's an extra one here. Let's put this one as well. Why not? Let's use this one. Let's put it here. Okay. And now this should be ready. And I want to be gray. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this one. Use my green glue because it's very strong. Let's get the box out. So I can press down. And get our pretty one of these, and we're gonna attach it on there. Like that. And then we just put this on top, and that's the box finish and decorate it actually you know we may put something over here let's put let's put some more decorations how about this yes yes let's put one of these on the body like that oh it's so cute i love the dragonfly Pop it up so you can see the blue underneath it. And what do you think? Isn't that cute? I hope you like this. Um, it's super easy to make. That's the one that I done quite a while ago. You may have some of this paper. I think it was last year. So that's this one here. And this is the new one that we did today with the blue. I think it's super cute super super cute so give it a go it's not hard to do I will make sure that I put the measurements and uh, um, all on my blog uh, that and also the supplies and uh, the products that I use I also make a list of the products um, and um, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.